Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about suspect interrogation and all the protection you have from the law if you find yourself in such a dicey situation. So stick around. Tell me all you know. I need a lawyer. You are not getting any lawyer. I'm not talking till I get a lawyer. Interrogation, also called questioning, in interviewing as commonly employed by law enforcement officers, military personnel, intelligence agency, organized crime syndicate, and terrorist organization with the goal of eliciting useful information, particularly information related to suspected crime. Interrogation may involve diverse areas of techniques, ranging from developing a rapport with the subject to the torture technique. In the United States, Police investigations are conducted under adversarial system, in which the police seek to obtain materials that will aid in convicting the suspect rather than discovering facts of the case. To this end, a variety of techniques are employed. Although police can use linguistic strategies to elicit confession from suspects, however, they do not have unconditional power to intimidate suspects into providing information. A number of protection exists for suspects under interrogation including the Fifth Amendment, the Meridian Right and other legal mandates. The Fifth Amendment, which states that one cannot be made to be a witness against him or herself, prohibits law enforcement from forcing suspects to offer self-incriminating evidence. For example, upon being asked by a police if one was present at the scene of a crime, one can refuse to respond. However, law enforcement can require one to provide demonstrative evidence through a blood or DNA sample. The Right to Counsel Law Following the Escovado v. Iloris ruling, the Supreme Court mandates that a suspect under police interrogation may refuse to respond to questioning until a lawyer is present, which is called invoking one's right to counsel. The Supreme Court further elaborated on this mandate following the decision by Edward v. Arizona by stating that police cannot continue interrogation once the suspect invokes his or her right to counsel or until he or she voluntarily agrees to continue questioning. The Meridian Rights As a result of the Meridian v. Arizona ruling, police are required to read aloud to suspects under interrogation their Meridian Rights afforded to them by the Fifth Amendment, such as the right to remain silent and the right to seek counsel. If the police fail to administer the Meridian right, all the statements under interrogation are prohibited from being used as evidence in court proceedings. In the United Kingdom, British legislations that apply to interrogation activities include Human Rights Act of 1998, Regulation of Investigatory Power Act of the year 2000, Anti-Terrorism, Crime and Security Act 2001 and Terrorism Act 2006, as well as legislations, statutory laws and regulatory laws, various legal proceedings called case law also impact interrogation techniques and procedures. One of the first attempts by British court to guide and set standards for police officers interrogating suspects was the declaration of the judge's rule in 1912 by the judges of the King's Bench Division in England. These rules, although not laws, still have weight in the United Kingdom and in Canada. Currently, there is a movement for mandatory electric recording of all custodial interrogation in the United States. Electronic recording describes the process of recording interrogation from start to finish. This is in contrast to a taped or recorded confession which typically only includes the final statement of the suspect. Taped interrogation is the traditional term for this process. However, as analog is becoming less and less common, statues and scholars are referring to the process as electronically recording interviews or interrogations. Alaska, Illinois, Maine, Minnesota, and Wisconsin are the only states to require taped interrogations. New Jersey's taping requirement started on 1st January 2006. Massachusetts allows jury instructions that state that the courts prefer taped interrogations. 
Commander Neil Nelson of the St. Paul Police Department, an expert in taped interrogation, also described interrogation in Minnesota as the best thing ever rammed down our throats. The purpose of this video is to help you know your rights when you're in such a situation. Make sure you exercise your rights if you find yourself in such a situation. Subscribe to this channel for more of such videos and stay safe. I need a lawyer. You are not getting any lawyer. I'm not talking till I get a lawyer.